Hi, I'm Bart Hansen. I'm the owner and operator of CrushLivePoker.com. The following hand comes from our call-in show that we record at 4.45 p.m. Pacific time every Monday. If you want to call in your hand, check out the phone number in the description. I play 1-3, uh, no limit. Okay. I earn a cat mm -hmm. at Verona Casino. Morongo? Verona. Oh, Verona, okay. Yeah, I think it's Maria Ho's uh, older uh, Falcon Grants. Okay. Um, I am in uh, under the gun. I have about five fifty in front of me. Okay. Uh, eight and a spade. Uh huh. The only villain, only villain in this hand is he's in the small blind. He covers me. He has about nine hundred. Okay. Uh, so the action is. Uh, I open to 15. Okay. And it goes to the villain who's the only caller. In the big blind? Small blind. In the small blind. All right, I'm going to be repeating you because yeah. your volume is pretty low. I don't know if you're on speaker, but if you can talk into the mic a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be much better. So, uh, How about now? Much, much better. Much better. <laughs> so just a just little thing about preflop. Uh, I think this is probably a little bit light. If this is a full ring game um, at one three five hundred, you know eight ten suited, um, you probably oh, that, that is actually ace ace ten. Oh, ace ten. Okay, well then that's not yeah. light then. Then nothing to be said. <laughs> uh, I thought I thought you said eight ten. Okay, ace ten suited. Uh, under the gun to fifteen folds to the villain, the small blind who calls. Okay. And uh, big big blind gets out of the way. Okay, so your heads so up. Your heads up too. Yep. Yeah. The flop comes. Uh, 10, 10, 3. It's club, diamond, club. So you flop trip tens. I flop trip tens. Okay. Um, villain leads out into me uh, for 30. He pretty much passed it. And you guys are 550 deep, right? You have 550. Yeah. That's interesting. I don't know if you I heard. Five. Yeah, I don't know if you heard the last caller because. Uh, I mean, this is obviously a much different scenario. Um, you have, like, in essence, the nuts here, right, um, with ace-10. Uh, I mean, I guess occasionally someone's going to end up with pocket threes, but you're never going to fold, and usually not playing it this way. They're usually going to go for a check raise. The other interesting part of this hand, too, is, is that you block the 10. So not only do you have a very strong hand that beats any other 10, but you also block the fact that the villain could have a 10. So when you look at this range, it's going to be a lot of... Protection pairs, flush draws, things like that. And sometimes you can go sort of either way with this. What I will say is, is that people that have the immediate reaction here to just flat, what I think that they miss is that a bet doesn't always continue to come. You know what I mean? So if it's like check, if it goes bet and you call, and the guy is always going to check turn and check river, because he's betting pot, right? He's coming out betting uh -huh. pot, and if you call here, I don't think he's going to continue to make these protection bets with pairs. So you have to sort of gauge that. Do you want to call and then go bet, bet? Do you want to, like, click up to, like, 60 or 65? Because you're not taking the betting lead away from him anyways because we don't expect him to bet on the turn and the river. I think people think, oh, well, I'll just keep, let him keep betting when, in fact, especially against a pot size bet, it's not happening as much as people think. Um, so, I mean, I could sort of go either way with it here. You could call. You could click up tiny to like 65. What did you do? Uh, so maybe I should prefix this by saying uh, uh, in two sessions that I had when I actually did flop trips, I got cooler than where my opponent flops full house. Yeah, but, but so, we can't we can't think about we can't think of it that the way though. <laughs> I yeah, wouldn't be scared I, I try with not these to. ten. <laughs> yeah, but I uh, the, so what I did was, you know, I had that in the back of my mind, so that I clicked it to one hundred. Yeah, I think that's I think that's just too big, um, for. I mean, unless you got you have history and the guy's just never gonna believe you. But by the way, this is always too talking about that last caller, the power of like how you can sometimes raise as a bluff in an unbalanced way when a guy leads out on a paired board when he doesn't fast play because you get a massive amount of fold equity when you do this, but obviously with your hand, you don't want that. So you make it 100. And then uh, villain calls. Okay. 
that's pretty good. So what do you think he has? What do you think his range is? Uh, in game, during action, I am a little afraid of uh, pocket threes. No, yeah. come on, Han. I don't know, so, man. Yeah, you I think mean, he's I, leading I out I... for? Oh, he's gonna lead out for thirty. Um, with pocket threes, like out with a full house on the flop. I mean, like I said, I guess it's possible, but I would be fist pumping your hand here, unless of course a club comes. So what happened on the turn? Turn comes the four clubs. Well, that changes things. (laughs) (laughs) That changes things. (laughs) So when Villain called me, called my raise that big, and I'm, think, uh, no, I'm, I'm kind of worried. Um, the front door uh, flush gets there. Yep. And now he leads into me uh, again for 150. So he bets 150 into a pot of what is now like 230, right? Something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's going to have what, 250 left? Is that about right? So when he be- so. Oh, I mean- Right, like if it well, I mean, you have two. No, you start with five fifty. Excuse me. So, you have about four twenty. So, you, so you have about. You're, if you call, you're gonna have about two seventy left, right? So, if you yeah. won leads for one fifty, you have trips, right? With an ace kicker, it looks like the guy has a club quite a bit. I'm not gonna just necessarily fold though here too. And of course, you have equity. You've got full house outs, right? I mean, you've got three, six, nine. You know, you have 10 outs to make a, a, a better hand here. He's betting 150 into a pot of about 230. So you're getting about 2.5 to 1. Um, if he shows you a flush, you need about 3.5 to 1 to call. But you're not always beat here. So I would call and evaluate what he does on the river. What did you oh, do? Okay. I'm glad you said that. Okay. Yeah, because I, I did call. Yep. Did call and then a my notes here a three did come off and it was the three of diamonds. Okay, great. Uh, at the time, I didn't think it was great. <laughs> Why wouldn't you think it's great? Um, well, what what the villain did was he actually led into me again for two hundred. He led into so, you for he led into you for two hundred, yeah. and then you have two seventy left, right? So just just shove. I, I didn't shove because because he can have a flush here. I mean, I I know it's low stakes and maybe like a player wouldn't necessarily bet a flush on a paired board. Depend, but he, but you're playing 500 cap and the guy's 900 deep. So I don't know. I mean, I know this. I'm sorry, it's Barona, but if he's any type of player here, like if I'm betting the nut flush draw on the flop, and you call and the turn is a club. And I bet again, and you call. Why wouldn't I bet the river? I'm just going to give you a ten from raising from under the gun. You know what I mean? It looks to me like you've got an overpair quite a bit. Now I know that doesn't necessarily happen. That I mean, at the lower stakes, people get scared. But I mean, that's sort of how I would look at it. You got two seventy left. He bets two hundred. If you're going to say that you get scared because you're, if you're going to say you're scared because of pocket threes, here's the thing, right? If you're scared of pocket threes, why did you call the turn? And more importantly. There are now less combinations of pocket threes. We talked about how he's not going to play this on the flop like this really all that much. And then if he bets flop with threes, you raise and he calls, is he going to just donk out on a club turn? And now there's only one combo of pocket threes. This is just the fist pump jam here when you have 70 bucks left. So villain one bets 200. And you call. And I just call. And what does he have? I just call because I, uh, to be honest, I just want to be a, maybe a little bit of a showdown monkey. He uh-huh. just over pocket queens. Pocket queens. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you feel like you should have shoved the river? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Looking back at his hand now, yes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's a very strange hand for him. Did he have queens with the queen of clubs? I don't know if you remember, but uh, his yeah, the suits were. I don't think he had the he had the spade and heart. I mean, here's the thing: like I see this quite a bit on live in the bike when I do the commentary, even at the higher levels, where we like I could see the card. Like if I was doing commentary on this hand, like I was in the booth and live in the bike, I could see the cards, right? And I wouldn't know what the opponent, what the guy is doing. 
it's surprising to me that he bet this large because a lot of guys will mu sometimes block this river with a pair, like jacks or queens. Like, it wouldn't have surprised me if, with the pot being like 550, he comes out and bets like 75 and he blocks you from like taking a larger sizing with something. But to bet 200, mm -hmm. it's just weird. Like, what is that bet? Is that turning queens into a bluff? You know what I mean? Like, what's the purpose of betting in no limit, Han? Do you know what you know what it is? Usually, what are the two things that we're trying to do in no limit when we bet? Value and uh, bluffing. Right, value and bluffing. Right. So mm -hmm. if this guy's hand falls in between that, given the action, the bet can't be right. Is this a value bet or a bluff? Chat, what do you think? Value bet or a bluff? Or maybe the third option is he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> Which, and I would probably take <laughs> option three. This hand, yeah, seemed like a bluff. Yeah, seemed like a bluff. I, I, I think, I, I think option three. <laughs> option three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, option three. I, it's just, uh, it's, it's bizarre. Um, but yeah, you can't be scared of monsters under the bed. And um, if he's betting this way with queen queen, then he should be betting this way with a flush, right? And I think you might get. I don't know if you're going to get called the extra seventy by queen queen, but you're probably going to be called by a flush just because the guy's incapable of bet folding. So. Uh, Han, thanks for calling in. Hey guys, if you like what you've seen here, please click on the subscribe button and you'll get notified every time we put up a new video. And if you want to check out CrushLivePoker.com for the first month free, use the code YTA200. Click on the link right there.